wander in the beautiful Brightstone Valley, you will stumble upon a strange rock covered with blood. But what if it's not just a rock? What if it's a huge secret that we players are not supposed to find at all? Hello, adventurers! Today we're gonna reveal the huge secret of this game. Today we're gonna reveal the secret of the Bloodstone Altar. We found the stone, but what to do next? So far, nothing. Just continue your adventure, cause you know, the first clues we're gonna find will be half game away from this moment. Plains of Desolation, such a beautiful location, but also it's a point of no return, so don't rush to go into this camp. We still have a few things to do here. Let's go, we need to find a clue. But where can it be? Actually, my friends, it will be well hidden behind the illusionary wall, and this wall will be over here. Let me show you its location on the map. It will be just over here. Let's go. Let's penetrate this wall. And what do we got here? It's a secret and we got a chest. But what most important, we got a scroll. And this scroll will give us plenty of clues. Let's take a look. Another riddle, another mystery to solve. But what to do? Let's try to solve it. So the first line. The writings of the file hold whispers of fate. Friends, what can it be? What can it be? Actually, it will be an item we possess right from the beginning, almost from the beginning of the game. When our elvish companion will join us, she will have a journal in her possession, and that will be the first item we need. But let's go further, let's explore the clue number two. A pendant of hope where the bones lie in wait. This will be much more complicated. Caves, we will get into those caves after we escape the burning city and go through the forest covered in fog. Second level of the caves, and here will be a girl who managed to escape the burning city, a refugee. Talk with her, and she will give you an item. An item will be called Lucky Charm. It's made of the simple animal bones, exactly what we need. She will be located over here, but don't rush to leave those caves, let's go to the level 3. You know, my friend, nothing in this world works without an ancient statue, so we are over here. Let's go, let's pick up a stone and let's solve a simple puzzle. It will be really very simple, let's do something like this and let's just go and take an ancient statue from the blood altar. We got it. Time to move on. And by the way, I think I made a mistake. It's a level 1 and level 2 of the caves. Let's take a look at the next clue. The drunkard coat, still worn with pride, must cover the sword by which innocent died. Well, I know only one drunkard. And here we go, we are literally at the beginning of the game. Let's go into the inn and let's find the huge secret. Actually, it will be not the hugest secret. The hugest secret will be when this inn start burning, you need to go down and over here near this window will be an armor. That will be a huge secret, but you need to pass through the guards. Personally, I failed to do it. So let's go. Let's go back to our quest. We need to descend down into the basement, go over here. Oh yeah, let's take a knife, because very soon we will need it. And let's kill Reti. Reti, where are you? Let's try to do it fast. Oh, I forgot to put some spells. But okay, we will deal with this Reti with a simple knife. Because why not? Reti is defeated and over here, friends, will be... Oh, over here will be a secret button, it will open a secret area. And here we go, a drunk card we are looking for. Actually, we are looking for his code. Ragged cape. Exactly what we need. But what about a sword? Actually, we possess this item also almost from the beginning of our adventure. And it will be our elvish companion sword. This one. Let's go back to our riddle. So what's next? Seek out the beast, let its visage be known. A brother long lost must find his way home. Hmm. Hmm. 
blistering mountains were standing right in front of the cave. It will be over here. We need to enter this cave. It will be not a huge dungeon. Beast we are looking for will dwell in this part of the cave. It will be some kind of mini boss, but I believe in you, you will defeat this creature. And when you defeat it, don't forget to pick up its remains. It will be very important. It will be our next ingredient, our next item. I have two, by the way. Oh my god. You only need one. But what about a brother? Actually, it will be some kind of easter egg, a tale of two dwarves. And I will try to do it with as less spoilers as it ever possible. So friends, the same location, we are standing just in front of the gates leading to ancient halls. Let's turn around and let's enter the icy maze. It's not far away, let's go. And over here will be a dead dwarf, a card, a note and a googles. The googles you need for another puzzle. This time we need to pick up a note. Take it and let's go back all the way into the forest. Bleeding forest, we are standing near the beautiful way. Just take a look at it. And of course this waterfall hides the secret. But right now we need to go over here into the forest, because over here will be a dwarf. Just go and give him a letter, learn the story and no spoilers for me. I guess we gather everything we need, time to go back to this rock bloody altar. And by the way, the dwarf we are looking for will be over here. Little left to do, just approach the stone and put all items we gathered right into the altar. And when you put the last one, you will be teleported to the dark room with the bloody runes on the walls. And there will be a witch standing just in the end of the room. It will turn out that you and that witch have a common enemy and she will agree to help you. She will offer you a gift, but you need to choose only one. Options you will get will be all knowledge in the world, strong as an ox, evaporate my enemies, and the last one, look into the writings of Defiled. I don't want to make any spoilers, all of those gifts will help you a lot, but there will be one option that will allow you to uncover mystery and look into Saela's journal. And frankly speaking, I want to do it right from the beginning of the game, so my choice is obvious, but what about yours? Tell me what do you choose in a comment section below. And friend, thank you for watching, I hope my little guide helped you, and I will see you in my next one. Meet you there.